Okay, I was making I was making a base. This guy pearled in. <gasps> he snowballed. He snowballed. <gasps> he's he's trapped in. He's trapped in the base. This guy just ran in. Didn't record it. Let's see. Oh, Kane. Oh, Kane. Oh, we got two in. Okay, it's not the same faction. No oh, I got him. <laughs> Alright guys, before this video starts, if you guys can please leave a like down below just by clicking that like button. And I want to let you guys know that my prison server, Mind Junkie, the Mystic Realm, will be releasing next Sunday, October 4th at 3pm EST. So I'll be there, I'll be playing the entire map as usual, uploading on it, and I'll be streaming the release. So there should be like a pre-roll playing over my voice right now, so that was to give some extra information. But guys, I will see you guys there. Be sure to join the Mind Junkie Discord as well if you want to learn more about the features. Peace. All right, what is going on, guys? Mizoid here. Welcome back to another Viper HTF Let's Play. Guys, I am back after my, like, five-day break. It is time for Star of the World. We are getting right in the server, and I'll bring you guys back when we are inside. All right, guys, we just got in the server, so we are going to be doing our slash reclaim as usual and just opening up our keys. So as you guys know, like I said, I did a five-day break. I'm back, though, so we should be uploading every single day this week as usual. But guys, we are doing a series I have not done before ever on my channel, other than the heart rate part. That part is normal, but what isn't normal is the fact that I'm doing living on one dtr and this is going to be a very interesting series in my opinion it's going to be very risky at all times we might die and go raidable and you know that'd just be really bad so but yeah as you guys can see my heart rate is in the top right honestly i explained this last time there's like I, I i psych myself out a lot and my heart rate goes up when i look at it so whenever that uh whenever like i'm talking about it, it's probably just going to go up for some reason but anyways guys as you guys can see i'm using a new pack that you might have seen on some other people's channels already because i gave it to my friends but this is mesoid v7 guys mesoid v7 it is the one without the logos on it here i can put on the logo so you guys see what i'm talking about so the logo version basically just has the little symbol in the middle on the chest plate and on the pearl but a a lot of people liked it without the logo as well and i'm gonna be using that one because i think it looks a little bit cleaner at the moment but both are really good and if you guys want when the pack is released you can just switch the files yourself and have the no logo version but anyways yeah we're just gonna finish opening up our keys as usual when i do these series and stuff i announce my cords in my community tab twitter viper discord my discord if you're not in my discord by the way go join it down below and basically i allowed people to build around me so our claim is already claimed you can see top left corner negative 240 1400 so it should be a pretty decent claim it's like in a forest it's not flat or anything we're gonna go flatten it out ourselves okay we're done opening our main keys i'll come back to open these for like more valves and for crapples and stuff but we're gonna go ahead and f home all right so f home right here you can see this is just our claim like i said a nice little forest claim so far i do not see anybody i mean it is kind of hard to see but i mean it is a far out claim and the server just opened so we should be seeing people soon but there's actually a new feature on viper i want to show you guys we do this block shop there is a new shop that you can only access during start of the world for blocks and it's actually pretty cool you can see people can uh, buy a lot more blocks and actually spend more time on their bases to make cool designs but yeah for now guys i'm gonna be doing my kit builder placing down some chests as usual and just flattening the claim out for now and uh, we we'll have to get started on our base design all right so as i start flattening out the claim let me do a little bit of an explanation of the series so in case you guys are new to hcf or you don't watch it as often you don't know what dtr means it stands for deaths until raidable and i'm assuming if you guys watch my videos you know what raidable means it means like people can break your claim steal your stuff all that so if i'm constantly living on one dtr that means that any time i die i will go raidable immediately so that means that i can't go i, I can't die the entire map or i go raidable and i basically lose the series or at least I have to rebuild so with that being said I need to make sure that my base is like just death proof like I need to make sure I can't die stupidly anywhere throughout my base I need to make it very safe yeah I guess I'm gonna get started on the, my base up here I'm not too sure yet what I'm gonna do but I'll bring you guys back all right guys so I've been talking with everyone and I think I figured out what bases on I want to do it's gonna be one of the worst bases I ever have experienced base rating against and you know that means I'm gonna be using it okay because I, I know it's gonna be hard for people to kill me so it is a too high base you can obviously tell it's too high I mean it's not I'm not really trying to hide it too much but it is a fake too high as well like it looks like it's not too high if we walk out here you can see it looks like it's a normal base but when you go inside it is indeed too high and uh, we are using the new block shop got the nice little mossy cobblestone the cracked cobblestone or sorry stone bricks and trailer stone bricks and then we're gonna have a i make drop down but it's only gonna be a one by one so when it's a one by one it's gonna fall down like like this but then it'll eventually turn into a drop down that is long like that so it's almost impossible to counter and anyone that runs in will basically die that is what i'm gonna be doing for the first part of the base i have some ideas for traps within the base that i will be showing you guys in future episodes but i will not be saying them now just in case anyone's watching yeah that's it's gonna be all for right now so i'm gonna get started on the base you know it's kind of a boring thing so i'm not gonna show too much so yeah guys i will bring you guys back in a bit all right guys welcome back it has been a long long time since the last clip i think it's been over an hour and a half as you can see there's no longer a star of the world time on the rest of the screen that is because it is obviously expired it's been that long so we have a nice little base to show off for you guys we're gonna start from the top so this top area you've already seen you know it's basically just the area right here we're not one dtr yet by the way i'll explain that in a second but uh, yeah this is our claim obviously the whole forest things i didn't actually get time to make the fall trap so we'll be doing that in 
a future episode but if we walk into our base right here so we just have a nice little too high area with a one by one drop down in the corner it basically brings you down to here which it puts you in a nice little open stream water blocks so there's no like direct current and then you can go left or right and um, basically say say I go this way and they go that way it's gonna take them a long time to swim that way so we made it the worst possible drop down for base raiders to try and kill me so yeah that is how it works and then we have this whole crit area right here you guys may have seen the system from the old Alex series when I right click this it'll activate the lever and put them in one by one and there's nothing they can do uh, you can't cross bro out of this we have our pot storage right here we have a bunch of safe rooms right here with another little safe area in there we have a safe area up there and we go to the back we have a nice another safe area where we have fence gates we got fence gates here if you want to go in there fence gates here if you want to go in there and then a ton of safe room so safe to say the whole bottom area of our base is safe no matter what happens we have plenty of areas to run to we do have blueberries in the faction that is because she might be barding for us at some points because i think i'm going to need to bard when i'm trapping big factions but regardless i will always be one dtr when we are both online or when it's just me online so i guess that's it for what i'm going to be building on start of the world i know it's actually a lot right here we actually did do a lot for start of the world which is good but um for the future episodes we're gonna be doing like a traps probably every single video so i guess we're gonna start off start of the world here hopefully call some people over we'll go one dtr and i'll show you guys how we do that and then it'll, it'll be it'll be time to go okay i was making i was making a base this guy pearled in this guy pearled in i, I shrank to myself for eight seconds oh my god combo ladder he's dead he's gonna die i'm not one dtr yet guys this guy i was still making the base oh this guy's dead that guy's trapped on there don't open the fence gates <laughs> you ready to give me effects i'm gonna jump down okay all right coming down here we go all right, strength two, thank you. I win these. It's combo ladder, but I win. But yeah, um, I was making a nice little bard area so that I could trap while some are bards from that. And uh, these guys pearled in for some reason. Can you uh, rest three? Oh, I got them already. Well, there's the first kill of the map. Uh, I guess I'll put the stuff away. All right, guys, it's time to go one DTR. So we're currently three. I'm going to go up here and jump down twice. And I guess I am dying this map because I have to go one DTR. So I'm going to die right there. And then I'm going to F home. Okay, well, that's not good. Okay, well, we're 1 DTR. We are 1 DTR now. All right, disable the traps. We're not going to accidentally die. We're now 1 DTR, and I guess it is time to trap some people. Oh, I, oh this guy's about to get hit in. Oh, he almost did. Dang. <gasps> he snowballed. He snowballed. <gasps> he's, he's trapped in. He's trapped in the base. All right. All right. Uh, strength to me. Strength to me. Oh, shoot. Does he have a bar? I don't think he does. I'm just going to start blocking him up. I want to see if he wants to go down this drop down. Jeez, I just I just realized how fast my heart rate goes because I'm on one DTR. All right, I want this guy. I want him to pearl over here. Oh, he pearled in. Okay, there we go. We got him trapped in that area now. I hit him down the drop down. Okay, he is <laughs> basically dead now. He's in the death drop down. We're gonna go down there. All right, so I don't know what side what side is he on. Mm, your right. My right. Okay, I'm going to my left. All right, and I think we got him. Yep, we have him. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then do that. All right, well, this is our first kill of the 1DTR series, technically. Um, he just went in a cop with that, just made it easier. All right, we got him, guys. That is our technically our first kill of the series uh, on the actual 1DTR series. I'm going to go ahead and store the stuff away, but it's looking like we got a nice prot 2 set right here with a minor set. Yeah, we got a nice little speed 2 set. All right, GG. Oh, is this guy coming in? Oh, I think we have someone. Come in. Oh, wait, he's taking a screeny. What? Please start attacking me after. Oh, he's fighting me. Okay, here we go. Uh, you can come back up. Mm. Actually, wait, I just hit him down the drop down, so he's basically dead. I'm going down with him. Uh oh, and I hit him that way. He can't. Isn't, yeah, he's just stuck in the safe room. I don't know what's going on here. And good fight. All right, well, there's another kill. I'm guessing this is just like a diamond kit, so it's nothing really special. This guy just ran in. Didn't record it. I think, actually, unless he probably pre -pearl. I don't know if he pre pearl or not. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, I I quick dropped him. So if it was a pre-pearl, um, then his pre-pearl did not go off in time. But I think it was real. It looked like he just quick dropped right there. Uh, okay, just another diamond kit. I guess I'll go store this away really quick. All right, guys. So it's been like over an hour and nobody's ran in. You can even see our DTR has changed because we regen. I had to die again and go one DTR. So I'm now changing the base to three high. So hopefully people run in now. And uh, I guess we'll go from here. Okay, guys. We finally have someone running in. These people actually both want to run in. Oh, this is Kane. Okay. Let's see. Oh, Kane. Oh, Kane. Oh, we got two in. Okay, it's not the same faction. So I'm just going to run down here and see if anyone comes down. Okay, well, we have one. Oh, Kane's hitting me midair. Okay, well. <laughs> Sorry, Kane. Kane, do you like the drop down, buddy? That's kind of death right here. I actually want to go get the other guy, too. I need both these skills. Okay, I'm going to try to get the other guy down as well. So I'm going to go up and I hit him down. Oh, he pearled. He's on cooldown. Oh, I forgot it's three high. It's not too high. Oh, it's actually easier to hit him in, probably. 
Oh, come on, get in there, get in there. Oh, I almost hit him in. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I almost just died. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna... I probably gotta go down there and tag Kane. But, okay. <gasps> uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god, combo ladder. Jesus. Okay, well, Kane is dead. Uh, I can keep him locked in that safe room and actually open this back up. And we gotta go get the other guy now. Okay. Dude, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go down. Dude. Oh, he came down. He came down. Oh, that's easy. That's easy. There we go. We got him. And we can just lock him right here. We can have them both stuck. Okay. And we can... I can hit this guy somehow. I don't know how I'm hitting this guy. Oh, now they're both in there. Wait, he... Okay, he crossed in that area. Okay. I don't know how I managed that to happen. Um, but as you can see, my PvP style is way different when I'm on 1D tier. Oh, God. That guy just quick dropped and now I'll kill Kane. All right. Well, RIP. Is he out of pots right here? Oh, he's out of pots. RIP to Kane. RIP. He's definitely rich. We got... Oh, we got a lot of partner apps. And we got the other guy's set as well. So we have a nice master set right here. We got some bones. We have... Oh, we have some stars. That's either anti-trap stars or rage abilities. Oh, we got both. And, uh, okay, we got two sets here, so that's really good. And we also got snowballs, so we can actually use those as a trap, finally. Oh, I wasn't recording, but guys, I just, I managed to trap this guy. He was, like, kept running in and out, and I timed it perfectly, and we, we got him. So, that's perfect. Um, oh, combo ladder. <gasps> okay, I'm just gonna block myself up in this corner and see if this guy wants to get snowballed in. I'm just gonna fight him right here. He's doing damage. Oh, I got weakness and mining fatigue. That's not good. Oh, he's boning. Oh, he just boned. Okay. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go down see if he follows me. Is he not following? Nope, he's not. Okay. Okay, hopefully my up sign doesn't go out of the base. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, is it Brian, dude? This is Brian inside? <gasps> dude. I I just freaking threw a snowball at the ground. <gasps> dude, I just... What the heck? Alright. Kind of smoking him. Kind of smoking him. No, nope, I gotta go down. Okay, well, apparently I'm no longer 1 DTR, but I can't really die. So, I got strength for 8 seconds. Got him. We got Brian. We've got Brian. RIP, we got a nice little diamond set high roller boots. Okay, that was a little scary. I don't know if he had a bard. I kind of felt like he did, but I honestly don't know. Nope, he didn't even have a faction. Okay. Alright, we have some people trying to run in, so go ahead and come on in. Oh, we have someone. Okay. I think this guy has faction members, but honestly, I'm about to just fight him. Dude, he... Oh, my God. I missed that pot. I got strength two for eight seconds. Oh, we quick dropped him, guys. We just quick dropped him. So, that was pretty easy. Um, That was pretty easy indeed. Let's see what said he has. Uh, oh, he was prop one. I don't even want this, guys. I'm just going to throw this out. Oh, I'm going to let him run in, actually. And then go down here. <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Oh my god, I got him. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that worked. I can't believe that worked, dude. That was so funny. That was something else, dude. That was something else. I can't believe that got him. I, I know I placed the blocks too early, but like that was funny. <laughs> oh, let me take his stuff. He definitely had a lot of partner package downs. We have guardian angels. We got eggs. Let me just mine all this stuff down. Yeah, I placed him pretty early, but it looks like we still got that kill. All right, well, we got a lot of partner packages from him. We got strength twos, exotic bones. We got scramblers, anti trap stars. He even, I think there was a key all as he ran in. So I have my own key and I got his when he died. So that's pretty good. I unblocked the drop down, so we're good to go. We can let some more people in. All right. I could have snowballed him right here. All right, snowball them. And we closed it, and we got him, boys. We have got him, mate. This guy's a solo. You can tell by his DTR. So I just don't want to quick drop. So I'm going to take out that. Oh, I was not even holding W, I don't think. Okay, we're going to go up here, kill this guy. Should be a light little kill. It's probably going to be the last kill of the video. So we started off a pretty good start of the world. You guys see how the series works. Basically, we're going to be one DTR the whole map. And hopefully, we get a lot of kills. We're going to be doing all sorts of traps. But uh, this, obviously, is being start of the world. It's going to be the most basic, just letting people into our base. And uh, hopefully we have some like, you know, maybe some collaborations with other YouTubers throughout the map trying to make me raidable because I'm sure it'll probably be a hot spot to try and uh, make me raidable. This, guy go this guy's going down. All right, watch this. He's not going to know which way I'm going. Oh, and there's no way you're catching up to me. And nope, you're dead. 
Okay, well, this guy's trapped in here. So, this will be our last kill, guys. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Like I said in the beginning of the video, or I, I put it on screen, if we get a thousand likes this video, I will talk to Tori and we can get this pack released very early. You can see it's like a faithful type pack. It's a Mizoid pack, kind of new. You can see like right here, and you haven't really seen a style like this before for the Mizoid packs, but it is a really nice pack. So, leave a like down below if you want it. I think this guy's dropping his stuff. You can go ahead and just take off that set of yours. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be all, guys. So, once this guy dies, we're gonna end it off. All right, I think he's dead right here. So, guys, leave a like down below. Oh, we just took. <laughs> He just freaking exited right there. All right. Well, that is our 11th kill of the video, but I believe only like eight of those were actual diamonds. So, um, okay, guys, leave a like down below. That's going to be all. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.